So this is where I start my first solo through hiking journey. Joe and Nick are just dumping me off in the woods. <laughs> Sixty six point five miles to done. I'm starting to really descend now down Sassafras Mountain. Beautiful. Look at that tree. It's all hollowed out, but it's still growing. It's crazy. So here's the first road crossing coming down off of Sassafras Mountain. We'll go down these steps. Pick the trail back up on the other side. Okay, so there's your view coming down the trail. There's a great water source right over there, and then there's also past the cistern that the Boy Scouts have in here. And this is Chimney Top Gap Campsite. This is super nice. Unfortunately, this is just three miles into my day, so I have 6.1 to go. But man, look at all that. Look at all your level options for a tent, seats, are always nice and uh does have bare cables hang there's your sign I'm trying to see i saw the red and then the red is red on the trees right back in there so the cables are a super nice campsite man huh. unfortunately i still got 6.1 miles to go today so I'm just gonna have a quick snack and then get back on the trail. Look at this lovely water source. It's like having a faucet. It's beautiful. Here's another cistern, compliments of the Boy Scouts for water. Thank you guys. Okay, so here I am. I think I'm coming out of, I can't remember the name of the gap, shoot. But I came from up there, around this little edge. And I thought this little edge was going to whack me out. But then I go right there, down the stairs, and there's the bottom. So, I don't know where I go when I get down there. So, <laughs> I guess under that board that's down there. But I'm not going to film this because I need to probably scoot down on my butt most of the way. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. I've been walking ridge lines all day. They just won't end. Holy moly, it's the finish line. The end of the stairs. Can you believe it? It's so pretty up here. This is why I love doing this. Because this is the way you see everything by foot, but I'm hoping I'm getting close to the end of my down. Now, cause I'm getting, whew, my legs are gonna, my legs are like meatballs right now. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's do this. Still on the hunt for the Virginia Hopkins campsite. Every two feet, I think I'm going to walk into it. I'm not yet. This was the beautiful view outside my tent last night. So I guess I can't complain. This is Virginia Hawkins Falls. Beautiful. Look 
is a magnificent Laurel Falls. It's beautiful. Okay, so that's the trail that I'm crossing. Wish me luck. I made it to Gorgeous State Park in North Carolina. All right, on to the next chapter. I'm guessing those are supposed to be stairs down. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I made it. I don't know how far down, but I came from. You can't even see where I came from. Just straight down stairs. Came down here, which is terrible for a short, stubby legged person like me. So I came down that on my butt. No holes in my shorts yet. I'll keep going. Now, that's the next one. Huh. 22.6 miles done. 53.6 to go. No problem. <laughs> okay. I've been climbing for like 10 minutes now. I still gotta get up there and I don't even... I hope it ends up there. And then I hope I'm on the ridge. Oh, God help me right now. What the heck? Yes, I climbed that. You can't even see the bottom. I did it. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, sorry for that of breath, but getting ready to go up that. I'm on Heartbreak Ridge. There's a lake or river through the trees over there. I'm not sure what it is. That's where I've come. So sorry for the heavy breathing, but I wanted to get a Shot of the stairs. Okay, I did it. I got up here to the top. I mean, this is only one of about 100 climbs I've done in the last almost 30 miles, but I did it, I got up here. Thank God. Okay, here's the next one. Now you know why they call it Heartbreak Ridge. It'll break your heart, but you know what? With everything in life, just one step at a time until you get to the finish line. little, I don't know if it's really a campsite, but it's a little stop. I'm guessing the boaters and stuff like that. Lake Chikasi, I'm in the back end of it somewhere. Just came out of the woods and I think I'm going to take a break here for half an hour. This is beautiful. So one, I am petrified of heights. And that is a long bridge. It moves around a lot. And then I get to the end. And now I get to do that. Sometimes the scariest stuff is the most rewarding and beautiful. Though. Okay, so foothills trail hike I wanted to do like this really good like YouTube video take lots of video where all the campsites were water sources that we didn't see on the map and all of that and I underestimated how hard this hike is and I knew it was hard but because it was my first real like you know serious through hike so let me just give you a recap of what's been going on so we started at Table Rock State Park because several of the YouTube videos I watched on this um, trail, some of the more um, experienced hikers that had done it had said, if I was going to do it again, I would start at Table Rock because it's easier. I disagree if you are a newer hiker or don't have good trail legs yet. 
And I just say that because um, the three of us, Nick, Joe, and myself, all started at Table Rock State Park. And that is actually the hardest part of the trail. Um, and you go up Sassafras Mountain. So after the first day, five miles of climbing, I don't know how many thousands of feet, um, you know, Joe was spent, I was spent, Nick was spent. And so we went to the first campsite. We were hoping to make it to the second one, eight miles in. We barely made it five. So we just took the next day and we just stayed at that campsite and got hydrated and just kind of relaxed and let our muscles relax and all of that. And uh, decided, uh, both the boys decided that this was not their gig, which is fine because this was, this has kind of my, been my thing. This was my idea. So what we did after that was we, um, we, uh, the next day we got up and we hiked four miles to the top of Sassafras Mountain and had our shuttle driver Taz pick us up at Sassafras Mountain and take us to a hotel. And I took the next day off um, just to do my laundry and kind of repack my bag because I had decided I'm gonna have Joe drop me back off on the trail and finish the trail. And then he was gonna join me for the last 20 miles, um, I think four or five days later. So we did that and he dropped me off. And of course I kept going and my, my next day uh, going on down Sassafras was just terrible. A lot of the, the map that I had, the miles were not correct or either that or my all trails was like way off by like a lot. And um, even some of the, the signs that were made from campground to campground, you know, it's say 4.2 miles mile all trails. I'd, I'd be at like five and a half before I'd even get to the campsite. So my first day hiking by myself I got on trail, Joe dropped me off at nine and I think it was 7.30, seven or 7.30 when I got into camp and got set up and I literally ate like two pieces of beef jerky and just crashed in my tent. I was done. And I wasn't even, I didn't ever even made it to the campsite that was my goal. I found one, I found a place to just camp for the night so I had to hang my food because um, I didn't have cables there and I just crashed out for the night. So then I got up the next morning and heat's been a big thing. I really wanted to do this trail in April and it's now the third week of May. And um, yesterday was the hottest, hottest day on trail. And I only had seven miles to do. And I got to camp by three. I think I got on trail by a little after eight. Um, but um, I, my muscles are just, I don't have trail legs. I found that out. I feel like I have more my trail legs today. Um, but one of the biggest things that's taken me off trail is that uh, I have a huge bruise here on the side. I have it covered in mole skin right now um, to just keep it, but it was rubbing on my backpack and it really wasn't my backpack that it was rubbing on when I was carrying my pack. It was uh, my water, my smart water bottle carrier on this side and drinking so much water and reaching over um, across that strap just caused that to bruise so badly. So um, trying to do a seven or eight mile day, by the time I get about halfway through that, it is unbearable to wear my pack. I text Joe last night through my Zolio and told him I think I'm tapping out on this right now. So I hiked this morning over Heartbreak Ridge, which was tough. It wasn't uh, as hard as I thought it was going to be based on a couple of the reviews. It was tough, but um, but I did it. I just took my time and I did it. It's only a mile. And I don't consider this a failure by any means. I learned a lot and I'm going to come back and finish this trail in the fall.